Hey traders, welcome to We Trade Waves Weekly Forex Forecast. As usual, we have a lot to cover. I'll explain you more about few structures, about retail traders and market makers footprints, and about next expected waves. So all you have to do is to keep watching till the end and let's get started. DXY, for this one, last week we were expecting market to give us a corrective structure from here, a bigger corrective structure, or from above, this top. Well, market went up, it gave us a small corrective structure, it went higher than expected. After this up wave, we started to get this corrective structure. Once we saw this wave going down correctively, we knew that the next move will be to the upside. And this is exactly what we have mentioned in our midweek review analysis email. Those of you who don't know about our midweek review analysis email, all the details are in the description under this video. So for this one, market gave us a corrective structure, it went back up. Exactly at this point, we've got this pullback. Now, before we go for what next, let me clear everything here. This is a double top formation for retail traders. And this double top guys, is one of the most common patterns retail traders love. And market makers as well. Why? Because this is the easiest pattern retail traders can spot and this works between 20 to 30% of the times. Let me repeat that, this works only between 20 and 30% of the times. This is retail traders side. Market makers side, they are building liquidity above these tops. Let me repeat this, 20 to 30% of the times, this will work. And market makers will give you this time to time just to keep you thinking that this is working. You get what I mean, guys? So for this one, for us, we would love to see market going up above these tops and then we go for sell setups again. Even though we know how to enter here and make money and we know how to enter here as well if market will give us a sell setup. From this point, we didn't get any sell setup and market continued to the upside. Remember, I'm not defending our point of view of last week's forecast. I said to you since the beginning, market went higher than expected. All right guys, market went higher than expected, that doesn't mean we lost our account or we lost big here in this move. For us, no setup, no trade. Is that clear for now guys? Coming back to here. If market is building liquidity above these tops, means market will be going up again to break these tops and then the fall. Any up wave for DXY, we will ignore it. We said to you we are not going to buy dollar from current levels, even though we see DXY will push up next before the fall. So what is our bias and what might be the next structure for DXY? For this one, we will only look for our sell setups either from current levels or from above this top. If this is one of the double tops that will work or that market makers will makes it work, we know how to spot a sell setup here and go for the sell. At the moment, we are still biased for one more push up. And if this happens guys, market might keeps giving us a massive structure before the fall. Is that clear? No matter what the market will do, we will only look for our sell setups. And do not go on Monday and jump in. Or do not wait market to break the top and jump in. For us, after the analysis, we wait for our setups. For the XY, even if market will break the top or not, we will look for sell setups only. And we are biased to the downside. Now more details regarding the bigger picture, the bigger pattern, and when this fall might happen, all of this will be explained in details on Sunday session. For more details about our in-depth analysis service, read the description under this video. Your dollar for this one, market was falling hard. We were expecting market to give us a big corrective structure from here or from under this low. Market went in and it breaks lower. From here, we spot this corrective structure to the upside and we said to our in-depth analysis members, be careful here guys, another drop is coming. Remember, scalpers might be able to make money here in this up wave. 
After this up move, market went all the way down and you broke this low. Why market did that? This is a pin bar for most of retail traders. And whenever they see something like this, most of retail traders who trade this sort of patterns, they go for the buy. Where do you think they'll put stop loss? Under this low. All right? So after this up wave, market went all the way down and we broke this low. Again, I'm not criticizing anyone. I'm just guys trying to show you the truth, retail traders' behavior, and market makers' footprints. Remember, wave analysis is the mass psychology of all market participants. We also do fundamental analysis, we analyze the macroeconomic factors, and we go for our forecasts. All of you who are in our Sunday sessions, you know that. Now here on YouTube, we give you the bias and our expectations. And also time to time, we give you a lot of tips, advices, and we try to teach you new things, and we hope you are taking notes and taking advantage. Anyway, for this one, this was the reason for this up wave, corrective structure, another drop to break the low. And remember, no human intervention here needed from market makers. The algorithm can do all this job. Alright guys? Who will lose big here? Those who will jump in, those who will overtrade and overrisk, those who will trade without stop loss, and those who will add to losing positions. And I really hope none of you have done that. Now what next for your dollar? For this one, we are waiting market to give us a big corrective structure upwards. And this corrective structure, it might turns out to be an impulsive wave. If that happens guys, your dollar will be going all the way up to 1.18 or 1.20. This is scenario one. And this will play out if the XY will break the top and your dollar will not break this low. If that happens, this wave will be impulsive to the upside. I will not go into more details here about the pattern, the structure, and why this might be an impulsive wave to the upside. Scenario two, this will be going down to break this low, up, give us a massive structure like the XY, and then a shoot up. What if this massive structure, it will be an ending structure, and then another up wave. So all in all, breaking this low or not, we are only looking for buy setups for Euro dollar. More details about the bigger picture, the pattern, and if this will be one of the trades of the week, all of this will be covered in details by T on Sunday session. Pound dollar, for this one, while the XY was shooting up, Euro dollar was falling, pound dollar was moving up again. So if anyone of you get in this buy guys, we hope you made profits up till here. Why up till here? Because now I will show you how we cover this in the midweek review email and what we said regarding 35 level and this drop. Let me explain you more about this structure and what you are expecting next. The way market is moving to the upside, we do not like it. So another push down here is very possible. If that happens, market can stop under this low or it can go lower than that. This was enough for the structure. If the XY will be shooting up again, pound dollar might fall under this low and even lower than that. If not, we are going to go up above this top and then the next fall. So for pound dollar, at the moment, we are exactly in the middle. So if anyone of you is not in any trade, we suggest you to leave it for now. This is 50-50, probability chance. If this will fall from here, the next stop might not be under this low or under this low. It might be lower than that. All right? But if this will start to go up, we might be getting a complex structure in the middle and the market will be going up to this level and then we'll update you. So let me repeat this. At the moment, the structure is in the middle and no new trades should be taken. For us, we will leave pound dollar for next week. Until or unless we see a very clear setup, we will not enter. Is that clear, guys? Pound dollar is exactly in the middle of the structure. Let market give us more waves, and then we take decision. Aussie dollar for this one. I hope all of you guys remember this forecast to the downside. And by the way, this is one of the trades of the month for November. Those of you guys who remember this forecast, Give us a thumbs up, 
and leave a comment. And also guys, if you are benefiting from our videos, your support of likes and comments will push us to be here every single week to help you with the next direction. Not only that, your likes and comments will help YouTube algo to show our forecasts to more traders. So again, all that you have to do is to give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. Coming back to here, Aussie dollar is falling. Anytime Mark will give us a big corrective structure for another drop. We can see Aussie dollar falling under this low and this low as well. All right, this fall is gonna come. And like I said, this was one of the trades of the week for November. Look at this drop. This is amazing. Now, those of you who are new to We Trade Waves channel, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to not miss any update. Dorian, for this one, we said last week this is in the middle. If I really need to take a decision, I'll wait market to go up and then I will look for sell setups. If you remember that, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. And if you don't, go back and watch our last week's video. Now, for this one, market gave us the sell setup exactly at the top. Either for strategy 1 or strategy 2 or strategy 3. All our strategies gave us sell signal at the top of this wave. So, if any of you get in the sell, you move your stops or you take partial profits. We suggest you guys to take partial profits and move the rest at break even. Why? This might push up again to break this top once more and this might end up another ending structure and then we'll update you later on. Are we going to buy this one? Probably not. All of you get in the sell, you must have made decent profits for now. So how to manage your trades is up to you. For us, we've made big money in this down wave alone. New Zealand dollar, like we said before, this is like Aussie dollar. Market is falling. We've got this down wave, corrective structure, another drop. And most of you are following us since the past few months. You must remember this one. This is also posted on all our social media platforms. Market went in, we've got another corrective structure, another drop. We are getting here another corrective structure for this up wave and then this drop. Remember, this up wave, it's not needed for this structure. Anytime market will push up, we might ignore it. For New Zealand dollar, market is going down and most of you who trade this pair, you should be already in this half. Before we go for the next pair, let me show you here guys the pattern that you are expecting and that might unfold. For this one, market might go down to break this low, it will be going up to break this top and this top and then this drop. All in all, we might not go for this buy until or unless we see a great buy setup. At the moment, we are ignoring any buy setup and we are already in the sell from the top. Pound yen for this one, we were waiting market to give us this up wave and then the fall. This was our setup to the downside and this was the up wave that was needed for the structure. You remember that, right? Two weeks ago, we were waiting market to give us this up wave. We've got this up, corrective structure, one will push up and then market is falling now. And most of you remember this forecast. If you get in this sell, you move your stops to break even. And also, you should take profits. So taking partial profits, guys, is always good. For this one, if you get in the sell, perfect. You manage your trades and wait for the next setup. Pound yen, for this one, this was also one of the trades of the week covered in our last Sunday session. So market went up from here to 157.50. After that, we've got this drop. Corrective structure, another drop is coming. So all of you who made money here in this up wave, you wait now. After this drop, we can see market pushing up for another drop. This is how we can see market will behave next for pound yen. A lot of you might not understand what I am drawing here. But this will make a lot of sense for those who knows wave analysis and for our members. Last week, this was the trade to the upside. Next trade might be to the downside. Before that, we have to wait our patterns 
our setups, and our strategies. Remember, bigger picture for young pairs is towards the downside. But because a lot are watching our videos, we are trying to help you if you are a scalper, swing trader, or even a position trader. All right? What next? Market can push up here correctively, and then this drop. We are still biased to the downside for pound yen. If this wave will be extended to the upside, we will update you during the midweek review email or on Sunday sessions. US oil for this one. I really hope guys, all of you trade US oil, get in the sale and are making profits. You remember what we said, right? US oil needs to fall regardless of the supply and demand and regardless of everything. US oil needs to fall. Do you remember this phrase? If yes, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. And we know guys, a lot of you trade US oil. If you made money in this forecast, this is perfect. Not only that, from here we gave a signal on our midweek review email for US oil and market went down exactly from here to here. And if you only took this one, this must have been four to one trade in one single move. Amazing, isn't it? We call this one from here, from 85. We give this again from here. We said, do not panic. This up wave is only a trap. Look for sell setups. You put stop loss above this top and take profit at 79. All right, we've got this pullback, this drop, another corrective structure, another drop. So this was crazy. What next? All of you get in the cell and are still in, you can take partial profits or you manage your trades however you want. For us, we think that market will correct upwards for another drop. This must be enough for you to make big profits. Gold, also for this one, since October, gold is pushing up. We've got this up wave, corrective structure, another push up. And we said last week, corrective structure, another up wave. Corrective structure, another push up, it might be coming. We don't think gold will stop before 1890. So all of you are in the buy, we hope you made profits. And also we know a lot of you trade gold. So this was the forecast, this was the move, this was our bias, and we really hope you get in the buy. Door cat for this one, we said last week market will correct downwards for another push up. This is exactly what market did. What next? We think that market will give us another corrective structure, one will push up. This up wave, we might not go for it. We will wait market to finish this up wave, and then we might go for sell setups from now onwards. So no buy setups for us, for dollar cat, even if market will correct for another push up. Silver for this one, we said market will push up for a bigger corrective structure. So we've got this up wave and market is correcting downwards. The next move is towards the upside, either from here or from under this low. Remember guys, this is not signals. So do not go on Monday and jump in. This is regarding the bias and you are only biased to the upside for silver. Structurally, this might be going up, one push in and then another up wave. All in all, any sell setup will ignore and any buy setup, we might go for it. Bitcoin, we hope none of you guys get in the buy from here. We said this is gonna fall. Market went in, gave us a corrective structure, and we said last week, this will fall more. We've got this done wave, correction, another drop. Now, Bitcoin can go up again. So if I really need to put a title here for Bitcoin, this might be the last chance where you can buy Bitcoin at a cheaper price. All right? For this one, we are biased to the upside. And remember, this is not a trade call. More details regarding this structure, where Bitcoin will stop next, and about a lot of other altcoins will be covered in details by T this Sunday. So guys, it's just 20 pounds per month anyone can afford it. Now, what will you get in our in-depth analysis service? Sunday live session with T. If you cannot attend live, the session will be recorded 
and recording will be available for seven days. You will get midweek review analysis via email. In addition to that, you will get trades of the week and trades of the month. So if you are interested, you can subscribe in just few clicks. Most traders, they start to trade, they lose big, and then they decide to learn. Don't be most traders. You have to learn first, and then you risk your money. With that note, I wish you a successful trading week. Thanks for watching. We hope that you learned something new. Subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. This is very important. Leave a comment. Stay safe. Trade with care. And see all of you next week.